Hello, I'm Nick North, a co-founder of T-Spline Inc. and product manager for TS Elements for SolidWorks. Thanks for joining us today for today's webinar introducing TS Elements for SolidWorks. This is a new product that we're very excited to bring to the market and it will be demoed today by Matt Cedarberg, CEO of T-Spline Inc. Before I turn the time over to Matt, I'd like to explain how this webinar is run. All attendees are muted, but we are very interested in answering your questions. So please ask your questions throughout the webinar by typing them in the box on the side of your screen. We will be typing back answers throughout the webinar. Matt will also audibly answer questions at the end of the webinar. This webinar is being recorded and will be made available to you in a few days. So with that, I'll turn the time over to Matt. Thank you, Nick. And thanks, everyone, for coming to the webinar today. Um, as Nick mentioned, this is a new product for us, our first product for SolidWorks and something that we are um, very excited to introduce. So let me start out by giving a little bit of a background on um, why we made TS Elements and then we'll go into a uh, product demo. So um, when, when a product is designed, it's often first created by um, by an industrial designer and then that data or that concept is handed off to an engineer. Often that will involve um, two separate modeling programs. For instance, Rhino for the industrial design part of the process and SolidWorks or another solid modeler to uh, get the engineering data done. Um, there are some, some difficulties with with uh, with this process, though, the first is that it it's, can be difficult to recreate in a solid modeler um, a free form or organic design while respecting the design intent. Um, this is just one example of of a model given to us um, by a customer a while ago who had designed this model in, in design software and then simply was not able to recreate the model in a solid modeler. It was just it was just too complex. Um, also, it can be time consuming to recreate uh, models in, in a solid modeler. And um, a big reason for that is the engineer is not usually a surfacing expert. Doing advanced surfacing in solid modelers is, is a skill that requires um, significant training. And, um, and, and so passing the data over from a designer who is able to have access to um, tools that help them create this type of, of very freeform or organic designs and then passing that off to an engineer um, just it can be difficult to have that um, that design res um, respected. Here's just another example of, of a simpler design but again something that um, is, is hard to get nuances of, of this type of subtle um, organic shapes to create those inside a solid modeler. So what TS Elements for SolidWorks does is it lets the design model actually be the outer aesthetic surface of the engineering model. Using TS Elements for SolidWorks, you can import the aesthetic outer surface of your design directly into a solid modeler, SolidWorks in this case, as an editable surface or a solid body. Then the internal structure and other features can be added to the model, and then when the inevitable changes need to be made to the design, then either the designer or the engineer can make the necessary changes to the aesthetic surface with, with just simple being able to simply push and pull on the on the surface. Um, and uh, so what TS Elements lets you do is to first of all create smooth organic designs that would be difficult to have otherwise inside a solid modeler win more business with faster iterations because rather than spending uh, hours trying to get the aesthetic surface curvature continuous and then we need to make changes uh, needing to rebuild all that, um, you just have a single smooth T-spine surface. You can iterate a lot faster and, and, and get your business done more quickly. And then finally, it just makes your work more intuitive and fun. So with that, we are, we're, we're really excited to introduce this um, this product and now let's take a look at actually demoing the product and seeing how it works. And again, I, any, any questions, please feel free to type them in and we'll either answer them in real time or, or at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, webinar. So here we are inside of SolidWorks and I'm just going to go ahead and open up uh, 
a model that we have. Here's just a, a remote control shell. And you can see it's, it's, a, it's a smooth model. Um, we can throw zebra stripes on the model and see, see kind of the smoothness there. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and turn that off. Here's, here's the uh, T-spine part of the model. And you can come in, and at any point you can edit this T-spine feature. And what this gives you access to is the smooth T-spine surface. Now this is, T-spines are a new surface type. They're a very general surface type. They're compatible both with NURBS and subdivision surfaces. And what that means is you can grab the vertices or the faces or the edges of the model and just push and pull on the model and the surface will update smoothly. Um, so in this instance, if we have our, our remote control shell, and this was the surface that the designer had created using T-spines for Rhino and then given to the engineer to use inside SolidWorks. If, uh, if the initial um, ribs and, and details were added, then it was discovered that there needed to be a change to the model. For instance, the battery pack was a few millimeters larger than we had previously supposed it would be. Then you can just come into the T-spines feature and just grab, say, these two faces down here and just pull them and increase the, the, the capacity of the model. Everything stays smooth. And then rebuild the feature tree. And um, all the features down below will rebuild as long as they still can be rebuilt. And um, just really kind of working like digital clay, just pushing and pulling on your model, you're able to explore design iterations um, using uh, the TS Elements add-in for SolidWorks. Now, as we mentioned, TS Elements is the first um, add-in that, that we have brought to SolidWorks. And so the functionality um, does um, restrict you to importing models from T-Spines for Rhino. So let's just take a look inside Rhino and just examine one way of how we could create this model. Uh, now, first of all, there's a lot of different ways that you can make models inside T-Spines for Rhino. And we, we put on weekly webinars and have a lot of other tutorials on our website. Um, and you can go there to find out all the different ways of, of modeling with T-Spines. But let's just look at one simple way, which is to start with a primitive. And we'll um, set the, let's see, set the number of faces here in our T-Spines primitive. We can add symmetry to the model. And let's see, let's come back in here. And we're going to add, let's see, we'll, we'll, we'll want X symmetry. And then I can just come in and, uh, and draw my, my primitive here. Let's see, it looks like I applied symmetry the wrong way. Let's just try that one more time. So when you have a, a primitive T-spine shape, you can see that I, I don't even have this position necessarily in the right location. Um, I'll come in with my T-spines manipulator, drag this down into shape, and then just using some simple push-pull commands, I will uh, shape this um, T-spines primitive to get the shape of the manipulator. So I can come in and, and move the vertices of my model. And this again, this is a technique called box modeling that is perhaps most popular in in the animation industry where they often make um, these type of organic designs and T-Spines is really the first um, product to bring this this technology to industrial design and CAD in a in a way that's mathematically compatible with the rest of CAD software but um, I'm just here pushing and pulling on on the surface until I until I roughly approximate the shape of the model after you do that in in one side um, then I'll come down, let's see, let me change one of these views to the top view. And push and pull in, in this view. And, um, and again, this is, this is one single T-spine surface. And so I'm not, I mean, everything is, is curvature continuous. Some corners of the model are tangent continuous. But that's, that's why I'm able to get um, this smooth uh, response to all this pushing and pulling. There's no continuity breaks. There's no gaps. So once I, I push and pull in the model in those two different directions, I can come look at it in the perspective viewport. And let me uh, 
go ahead and hide this reference material so I can I can see how my T-spine model aesthetics are and 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 to add these tweaks again I can just kind of push and pull to to change how how this model looks again there's there's a lot of T-spines commands as far as adding more detail or control to the surface let's just look at that one in this example um, you can see I with with a very small number of control points I can represent most of the surface but here there's just not enough detail to to nail um, that that tighter corner there so I can I can use a command called the T spines insert edge command so I'll just take this edge insert an edge simple and uh, and add some more control points here and you can see with those additional control points um, then it will give me the the amount of detail that I need to uh, go ahead and get get a tighter shape here on this corner. And so that's kind of the rule of, of thumb with T-spines is where you need more control, just add more control points until you have the right level of control um, to, to get the shape that you need. So if I'm the designer, then here I've gone ahead and, and, um, and made this T-spines design, and now I'm ready to toss this over to the engineer to continue the work in SolidWorks. So I'll just select my model. I'll export it as a T-spline file. So here we have a TSM file. Just save it as remote control. And now back inside SolidWorks, I can go ahead and open that up. And we'll go to T-spline files and remote control. We can see here is that same file inside SolidWorks as a solid body. So I can come in and you'll see the same control points that I had inside T-spines for Rhino. So I can now using the SolidWorks triad, I can grab these control points and continue to explore my model here inside SolidWorks. Again, you can move control points, you can move uh, the edges of the model, and the faces as well. And then since that is a solid body, I can add on whatever um, other details that I need to uh, for, my, for my SolidWorks model. Let's just look at one other example of how T-spines, or how TS elements for SolidWorks might be useful. In, um, in a workflow. So here we have um, a joystick model. Again, this started as, as an imported T-spline. And um, this is a model that we made inside T-splines for Rhino. And we, we put on a webinar, it's been about a year or two ago, about how to make this, this joystick. And we will, um, if you're interested in that webinar, go ahead and type in a question. We can type in the location of where you can watch that webinar. But um, but this again, this is a single a single T-spine surface that's curvature continuous um, throughout the model, and um, so say again, I'm the designer. I've, I've made this design, and then the engineers added added the added his details here. And then it's finally the point where we rapid prototype this. We print it out on our on our 3D printer and actually fill it in our hand for the first time, and realize that even though everything looked good, it's just um, with the shape of our hands, this joystick just does not feel very comfortable. Um, again, with T-splines, there's no need to come back and, and, re and mess with a, a bunch of intricate surface features to make sure that all those edits, to, to make edits and make sure that it's still smooth and that everything is still a, a valid solid. I just come in and grab maybe my faces again, just grab these T-splines faces and, and just push them in a little bit. Or maybe I decide that I just need to have finer control, so let's grab the single T-spine vertex. Um, maybe I'll orient my triad to the UVN. That's, that's a nice feature, so it can move perpendicular to the normal. And just push and pull that single vertex in or out. And um, once I make these changes, again, I can just rebuild that feature tree and have my, have my model rebuilt. And then go ahead and interrupt a prototype another, <clears throat> another version of of the joystick and um, and see how that behaves. So you can see iterations with T-splines happen 
extremely quickly. It's just like working with with digital clay. Um, so that that is basically what what T splines for Rhino does, or T what TS elements for SolidWorks offers today. One other note: in addition to importing T spline files inside T splines for Rhino, you can also import um, well built OBJ models. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of those that we just grabbed from um, from TurboSquid, which is a online store where you can buy OBJ models. Let's just take a look at this hand. So again, when you have TS elements for SolidWorks loaded, you can import OBJ files as a T-spline surface. And um, again, the the requirements for this is that it needs to be it needs to be well built. It needs to be mainly quad faces, and it should be should be built as though it was for a subdivision surface model. Or if you have a lot of triangles in your model, if you have um, dirty geometry, um, non manifold sections of the model, then you'll you'll run into problems here. But as long as it's a, a nice clean uh, model, then it will read in as as a smooth T spine surface. And again, this is this is fully editable inside SolidWorks. So if we need to like change the size of these knuckles, we just come in, grab those, push them up and down. Um, but um, but this is another nice way of of adding assets to your SolidWorks scene without needing to to build them. I mean, building something like this in SolidWorks is is not really what the software is suited for. Um, so rather than, than wasting time by using SolidWorks tools to make something like this, you can just grab um, an OBJ, import it as a T-spline, and then you'll have have a surface body here. Um, so that that is TS Elements for SolidWorks. Um, and uh, this is a product that was introduced uh, just a couple weeks ago at SolidWorks World. And um, as you mentioned, it's our, it's our first product for SolidWorks. And so until Friday, we have introductory pricing of uh, $399 for t t uh, TS Elements for SolidWorks. The normal price is, is $499. And um, we look forward to um, being a part of, of the SolidWorks community.